we're at um, Iron Man the toll booth. We're getting ready to go see some land. And then I tried to hold the machete and, and do stuff on the hook. We want you said, all. Huh? Yes, we want you. It's not far, we are on the land. Oh. Oh, you cleared all this and it's gone. Yeah. When was the last time you were here? Pull up. When were you here last? Oh, that one lady, I did two weeks ago. Mm. Two but weeks? me, like, what? Me, I've been doing one to me. Wow. Me, three weeks, three weeks ago. Mm. Three weeks ago. Oh, all this was flat? Yes. And yeah, that's what happened. Yeah. Yeah, because he was very fertile. So, oh. how, how, where, so the land starts on back there? Yes. And, and it your... goes down. It's very big land. You see? Down. Down like this. Oh. This one oh, is part of it. So all of this yes and i have the layout too okay. i have the layout so i know all the rules mm. wow yeah, yeah, yeah this is nice very nice Hi. so where does it stop like it this? goes down down what even where that is yes it goes down like that oh it goes yeah yeah, down. yeah yeah and this one too goes down wow. if you want let's go let's go a little no i'm, 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 I'm <laughs> oh you can go this way it's not Let's go this way. What do you have that's all together? Like in one block. In one. Yeah. Yes. How, how, how many plots do you want? How many do you have together? Oh, that one there. Even if you want 30 acres, you want. Yeah, that's I have. Yeah. yeah. If you want. Five plus you want ten all together. Plus. Yes, is there yes. here? Yeah. If you want, you can get from up there coming down to okay. there. So yeah. we're here actually, um, as you know, we're looking for land to build a community. Um, so what, what's this land called? What's, where are we? What's it called? Uh, Ketasi. We're in Ketasi. Yeah. Which is right next to. Abri. Which is Abri. right yeah. next to Abri. Actually, we're closer to Accra than Abri. Yeah. yeah. Right. So that is Accra. That's what you will see when you wake up in the morning. When you're sitting on your veranda having your freshly squeezed orange juice or coffee if you like it. Yeah, but. I like both. <laughs> and so I think we found the land. I actually think this is it. This is what we was looking for. It's fertile. If you look at the ground, you can tell that stuff will grow easily. And so I think we found it. We just have to negotiate a really good price. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to keep you posted on that. I'm going to keep you um, informed. So all of you that has been harassing me, okay? Like, when are you gonna find the land? When are you gonna find the, find the land? I think we found it. All right. Um, so I'll get back to you. You know what to do. Shout me on WhatsApp. Um, inbox me on Facebook. Um, yeah, you know who you are. I'm not gonna mention no names. But here you can have your plot and a half or your two acres, two acres. Um, we, I think we're going to be looking at about 50 acres to build a community. So this has got nothing to do with the orphanage. Um, although, you know, we might can take out an acre and all that kind of stuff for the orphanage. But this is more now for the community that we promised that we're going to be building which will have its own electric system its own water system you know we won't have to be dependent on the government for anything um you know parts of it you will have as a like a farmland so you know you'll have your own crops um and raise animals and everything is going to be self-sufficient you will not have to go to accra unless you want to 
um, but you know when that system comes in place um, and you can't buy or sell this is where you're going to be eating from okay so I will just hit me up and I'll, and I'll tell you how we do this all right so let's let's do this let's build this community and then we're going to have a we're going to have like a um, uh, what do you call it you know we'll, everybody can come up with a name for the community um, we'll put it in a hat and we'll draw out the window and see what this community is going to be called okay nothing stupid guys you know don't come up with no um, ganja city or, <laughs> or some stupidness like that okay but I love it I mean the view is absolutely amazing like imagine waking up for that that's lovely I'm, I'm ready I'm ready to start building I'm ready gosh can you imagine you get up you're on the veranda you've got this view you're having your orange juice your coffee your breakfast with your family you know the, how we want to do it is we noticed that in Accra they're, they're building houses that goes up like the UK so they're not utilizing the, the land space and all the houses are right next door to each other I don't know why they make them detach because there's like this much room between one and the other so it's pointless they may as well make it semi-detached so we want to give you land space so we we feel that everyone should own at least a plot and a half that gives you enough space to build your house have your little garden at the back and even have a pool i mean we're going to put a community pool but if you want your own pool private pool you can have your pool so we want you know good land space we don't come from the uk where you've got a like a, a 20 foot garden to come to ghana to have a 20 foot garden <laughs> do you know what i mean so we're talking about great land space this, this is beautiful and I, I really do think that we've found the land i don't even think i should look anymore um so i think we've got, we're looking at about 50 acres um and apparently quite a few of it has been sold surrounding because he's got over a hundred and something acres to other uk people and american people kind of people so you know you can tell what kind of a community it's going to be so i'm gonna keep you posted holler at me okay <laughs> Tim and join with John with the rooms for tonight because it's freezing outside. Thank you. Thank you to Shul Bakla for buying me all these things today. <laughs> <laughs>